Hey guys, this is Game of Cow. <laughs> sounding chipper at the moment, but it's not going to last very long. We're playing Mario Golf Total Tour. We're going to be using Daisy because Bowser Jr. is just not suited enough for this one. It's going to be a tournament. I am scared out my wits for this one. Bowser Championship is seriously freaking scary, and... Yeah! Instant change, the theme music is different from every other tournament, Bowser's got his own thing there, the holes are really, really frightening, it's what the hell, the gimmicks are ridiculously annoying, the course is just absolute wow, and yeah, there's also a moth flying around the light in my room, but that's not really important for this. The thing is, this hole, as you can see, the pin is not very far away, but it's up a big cliff, so what the game wants you to do is to go all the way down here and then come all the way back. The thing is, that's kind of hard to do. Another thing is also kind of hard to do, but um, quite rewarding when you get it right, you can actually skip up to here with this style of character. It's pretty difficult to do, and as you can see, miss hits are not going to be very tolerated here, but it is doable. Which is exactly why we're going to give it a go. I don't know if I've actually made it up. Uh, looks like I have. Okay, so now we are only 30 yards away, and yeah, the rough is a decent enough spot to be, to be perfectly honest. So, I have a relatively easy chipping position, and let's see where this goes. Oh, very close. So that's a brilliant first birdie start, you know. If I get any score under par on this course, I would be happy. My absolute best ever with a non-star character has been uh, 14 under by some miracle. I think I had some extremely lucky shots in there, and I'm probably going to show one of those off in a some video somewhere, because it was pretty hilarious. It was on a different save file, of course, so, you know, this is completely clean at the moment. If I have to retry this, then it would be completely clean, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah, pretty much any score under par is going to be fine, and what the hell is a Boncadera? I have no idea what that is. I don't know what Shoe 5 is either, so whatever. Corpedo again. Beam, you're kind of funny. Numa and Prata, you're just not doing very well. But then again, this is the Bowser Badlands, so I don't expect anybody to do well, especially not when it's raining. When it's raining, it's really actually very hard to see anything, which sucks completely. Nevertheless, rain is what we have to deal with. We also have to deal with boos. If the ball hits boo, then it kind of just about stops dead. It doesn't completely stop, but, you know, it might as well. So, although this is a really short thing, there isn't much better that I can do. So I'm just going to lay up here and try for a 200-ish yard approach on the next shot. It's not really an approach when it's hitting that far away, and oh god, that accuracy was terrible. But thankfully, it doesn't matter too much. So yeah, best drive because I hit the rough the last turn, 197 yard away. This is not exactly an easy shot, it's far from the type of shot I want to be making on this course, but you know, this is the kind of shot we're going to have to make every single time. Yep, this course does not get much easier. So you'll have to forgive me if I stop talking whilst I concentrate on the shots here, because seriously, even that is not enough. It's not far away, but it's not enough. I don't trust a putt in the rain, so I'm gonna have to just chip this anyway, and... Oh, freaking hell accuracy, that was awful. But whatever, what can you do? So long as it's a par, I am okay. I just want to not get bogeys on this course, because seriously now... This course is insane. Really, you've only seen the two holes so far, and you can probably already tell, this is nuts. Third hole isn't exactly much better. We see Chain Chomps returning, but unlike uh, Peach's Invitational, you are not able to escape Chain Chomps on this course. If you land down there at all, you're screwed. Lava is also obviously out of bounds, so try not to hit that. And yeah, this is a very long and very difficult par 5. That rock in front of the green is extremely irritating and really does get in your way a hell of a lot. So short strategy for this hole. Ideally I'd want to try and hit uh, probably not quite there with my heavy draw. Ideally I'd want to be hitting here, but I don't know if I have quite enough drive. 
I think I do though, so depending on how this shot goes, we'll put spin on accordingly. So let's see. Yeah, massively undershot, so this is probably not going anywhere good. It's actually going to hit off the rock, so maybe it will. Wow, that was really pretty fortunate. Let's take another look at that, actually, if I can get a better angle on that. Um, yeah, I undershot it so badly that it hits the rock, and from there it goes to a reasonable position, I hope. 241 yard, obviously the best drive. Ah, so it's telling me to hit here, which is alright, but uh, can I go this way? I think I actually can, but it might not be an easy shot. Um, no, that's that's pretty doable. That's how close is it to that. It's nowhere near there, so that is actually a makeable shot, and this is probably my best shot to do, because as you can see, the pin is up there. So this is probably my best bet. So let's go with that, when I get the control direction right. Hmm. There we go, good shot, good good shot. This shouldn't be too bad, I hope it doesn't roll into the rough actually, that would be kind of awful. But it looks pretty controlled, and there we go, excellent. So this is in the best possible position, it works with Daisy's draw, and I can reach the green from here. So this is actually very favourable. Usually what happens if I am playing with a star character or a normal thing, I will be hitting to that island with a brick in the middle. The one it was trying to get me to hit to last time. And if you hit there, you've got to hit over this gigantic rock and spinning around the tower. It's a very, very tough shot and usually it doesn't pull off. So I'm grateful to not have to make that. However, I've kind of really fucked up on that accuracy, which is pretty terrible, so that's not going to hit the green. Backspin's going to take it slightly away. Oh well. Um, I can putt from here, though. This is a makeable putt. It's not easy, especially not because it's off the fairway, so it's going to be a little bit hard to judge the power, but it's definitely doable. So let's see. Up to... That's way too hard. Minus 5% though. Yeah, way too hard. I kind of twitched and didn't actually hit the button, so that sucks. Didn't exactly leave me with an easy putt either, but we've managed to make it for par, so, you know. It's a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? It's better than getting a freaking bogey on that hole, because seriously, I would have been annoyed if I bogeyed that one. Now, the first par 3 is on hole 4, and the booze. I think... I'm not certain on this, so don't quote me on it, although somebody probably will now, but I think the booze are randomly generated off of this, because it seems to be different every time I play it. It doesn't... it's not consistent, anyway. So, regardless of that though, Daisy's draw does help because you can do some wicked spin like this and get it right around the thing. This is another one that's very very hard to birdie this hole because it's very difficult to get on this green in one shot. But with a curve like that it's going to go well around the booze so not exactly afraid of that. And let's see where this ends up. It should take a kick off that hill which is why I didn't bother with backspin. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Took the exact kick which I wanted, and uh, when it stops rolling, please stop rolling. Yeah. Obviously, replaying that shot because that went absolutely brilliantly. You can see exactly where it bounced, and yeah, there we go. Kind of rolled way further than I, that, that pair rolled way further than I would have liked, but even so. It's. Is that going in? Oh god, it's not. Oh man. <laughs> oh jeez. Now my punning is going to fail. The punning is the one thing I'm really wanting to get right here. Oh no. Ah, so that's two putts which I... Well, one putt which I've missed definitely and one putt which was kind of meh. Nah, I don't know. But, oh god, that's horrible. Anyway, this hole, 410 yards, you cannot really get away with the hitting to here because we don't have enough drive distance to do it. We barely have enough drive distance to try and get over here though, we're actually going to land in rough, so regardless I'm going to have to hit this with a lot of topspin and hope it works. It's still not an ideal position, because looking where that bomb is, 
Yeah. Bombs, by the way, is something I've not explained yet. Obviously, they explode if you hit them, and they send your ball quite far away, so try not to hit them if you can. That's good enough. That should topspin out of the rough, and we should be in a good position here, because, yep, it's going to roll through the rough. Okay, but this is still a really hard shot, because of that bomb being in the way. However... Yeah, there's not a lot of back room either, so you can't afford to really overhit this one. So I'm just going to have to hope that this will do. Ah, the mist control might screw this up. Uh, please don't hit the bomb. Okay, it's not hitting the bomb. I super backspun, which was a bad idea, but I was anticipating hitting full control there because I did overshoot the power, so... Yeah, that was um, that was poor anticipation on my side. Oh well, let's hope this one goes in. Please go in. Oh, come on, really, really, really? Ah, uh, now I'm really screwing up the putts, which is the easiest, well, not really easiest, but it's the only part which is doable in this thing, and I'm screwing it up. This is not good. So I should be minus three, and instead I'm minus one, which is horrible, but yeah. Any score under par at this point. Okay, so this hole. Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm probably going to hit this and super backspin the thing. It should, looking at the hill and the wind, it should bounce off of that fast fairway and go towards the swamps, but we'll see. Yep, can super backspin that because I did actually hit it completely perfectly, even with the minus 1% and the Wind, it is not going to hit the fast fairway first, but that's okay. Super Bankspin was there for control, and we have a second shot which is makeable. It's forcing us to use the one wood on a freaking second shot though, which is really kind of ridiculous when you think about it. But we're gonna try this instead. I probably should have backspun that though, I'm gonna live to regret that, I think. Or not, because you can see it's coming down quite severely, so the backspin was not needed. And that ends up being an okay shot. It's not a nice putt though. Well, it's alright. It looks like a pretty straight downhill, but... Please go in. I've missed way too many already today. Thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. It, seriously, it's just... Wow, you know, the pressure that... Um, giving myself almost here. Horrible. Anyway, this hole, really infamous, we'll see it later. That bit over there looks completely out of order, but again, we'll see it later, unfortunately. It is a cool thing of having lava on one side and water on the other, though. There isn't really a better one between them, because hitting water, you're probably going to have to hit off of that island, and hitting the lava is obviously out of bounds, so you have to take your tee shot again. Both of them are going to put you on for getting on the green for a bogey, so neither of them is something you want to have happen. There we go, just about. The wind should settle that a bit better, and yeah, su Super Bagspin is definitely a good call here. Because that ended up being pretty reasonable, I will say. That was not a bad shot, even though I misaligned the accuracy a little bit. Okay. Please go in... No, really? Oh. Wow. Okay, I really have no idea why my putting is so bad today, because it really shouldn't be. Never mind, we are still minus two, which is fair enough. We're quite a bit behind leaders, but, you know, it's makeable. But this hole, well, there is a thing up there, obviously, we do not have the drive distance to reach. It's a gigantic let's go round the wrong way for my shot type of hole because I have a big draw shot and I kind of can't draw around this one which really sucks. A couple of ways you can do it obviously if you have a really high and really good drive distance you can get up to the volcano and try and get down in two that is the quickest route. You can go down here and then your next shot will have to go to the top left hand side and go from there or the really risky one with this shot type at least, you can make it up here. But it's tough to do. It's very tough to do. It does have a little bit of leeway, so 
Nah, it's not an easy shot, but it's makeable again. You've got to side spin it though, because otherwise it's going to careen into the wall, and that's the last thing you want to have happen. It's too risky for this though, I am not feeling for it whatsoever, so I am just going to play it a little bit safer and hit down here. But, hang on a sec, what's my power looking like here? Can I, keep, can I put it to the max here? Not really, so let's put it down to that. Didn't want to hit the full power, this could go very, very badly. Please stop, stop. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Yes, I am replaying that one as well, because that was way too close there. Oh god, my heart's going to stop from this, I'm telling you. This is frightening. I, it shouldn't be because it's freaking golf, but it's frightening, I'm telling you. Yes, I am telling you several times with words from some marginal form of language, I guess. Uh, no, commonly known as English, I don't know how that works, but you know. Ah, I don't like this shot because my shot's too high and it's going to hit off of there, but if I aim it any further down, suppose I can try something crazy like this, but it's going to be hard to hit that spot. Because, yeah, I'm going to have to do that, which is kind of crazy. Though maybe because I'm using the one wood, I can lock it there? Yeah, okay, so I'm holding my control stick in that locked position. Let's just hit this shot and go. That should turn out pretty good in the end, because it's hit just the right spot. As you can see, it's not hitting the roof, and there we go. Still leaves us with 174 yards to approach this, though. You can see there's not very much foreground, so we're going to have to hit for the back of the green here, which is not really ideal. I don't like hitting up there, but you know, if we hit this shot, it should go okay. I hope. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. I probably should have backspun that. I'm looking at the minus 2%. I'm thinking I misaligned the control. That's going to hit a reasonable bit. Should have still backspun it, but... It's okay, that is a good enough shot, and this is makeable. It's not easy, but, well, I mean, it's not hard either at the same time. It's kind of in the middle, but it's definitely doable, if I could control this better. Okay, um, I don't want that one, I want this one. I'm not happy with this at all. Whatever, just hit it and hope. Come on. It's in! Yes! Getting some putting back, finally! I should be like minus 5, but I'd be happy enough at the moment with minus 3, you know. <laughs> so Wario is a hole ahead of us, and he's 3 holes to the good, but you know, he's gonna tank pretty soon. The AI generally does at non-star levels, so yeah. This hole! Oh god. Um, I had a massively lucky break when I was playing Bowser Jr. on this hole, and this this one just went ridiculously well. It's not going to go nearly as well this time, because there's no way I can ever top that, but... Let's try anyway. So, my idea for this one, I'm probably going to hit the bomb doing this, but my idea, if you can see, obviously see the very sharp incline on that uh, hill there, what I really want to try and do is take advantage of that, kick off that fast fairway past the bomb and land behind it. Not in this stuff, however, but I want to land in this patch behind the bomb. I don't know if it's going to happen, but that's what we're going to try and do. Probably should have backspun that, but we'll see how it goes. So it's going to take a kick, and it's going to land in the heath. Fantastic! We haven't seen Heath yet, but it's plus minus 15%. There is literally no way you can go from here, so... Yeah, it's not really worth trying to do much of anything apart from play safe. Which is what we're going to end up doing, and end up getting a decent shot out of it. Which is nice. So yeah, that will set us up so we can approach. Well, 72 yard is not really an approach, but the pin is at the front of the green, that is not too bad. And we are going to hopefully get this right. Yep, no need to top spin or well there might have been a need to top spin. There's no need to backspin that however, I knew that much, but yeah. Uh, makeable but not easy. This is not the sort of putt you want to leave for par, damn it. But I think it's it. Yes it is, just. Oh god. 
Wow, okay, so that is the front nine. We're at 20 minutes in on the front nine. Wario is keeping on going. He's freaking minus seven. He's birdied this hole? Wario has managed to birdie this one? Wow. He must have chipped in or something because I can't see his drive getting to this one in two. 432 yards, you're going to have to hit the whole thing of this. This is not an easy hole in the slightest. You really do have to hit two very, very good shots to get this um, as a chance. And I do not actually know where I want to hit with this drive. You can see very narrow targets though, and uh, it's not a nice hole. Not a nice hole in the slightest. And I have well undershot that. That might well hit the fast fairway. Yes, it will. Oh god. No, that's okay because it didn't really hit it very well. So, yeah, 238. I'm happy with that. This gives me an approachable shot. Only because of my uh, massive draw, however. That Thwomp is still going to get in the way, though. That Thwomp is a douche and I don't like it. Um, yeah, this is not going to end well. This shot is not going to end well. But I guess if I can hit this, this is not going to hit a Thwomp. It's not going to hit a Thwomp. I can hit this shot. If I get it done perfectly, this might end up good. Which I have not hit at all perfectly. This is probably going to be a disaster. Nope, not even. It's going to hit just the right spot so it creeps onto the green. It's a 42 yard putt though. It's not even yard, it's feet. But still, doesn't make a difference. It's a freaking long putt. That's all that really matters. Oh god. Uh, I think this is about my best bet. And I'm just going to hit that and hope it goes somewhere close. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh no, really? <laughs> I didn't expect it to get that close. That is an excellent putt from there. Just very slightly off the hill, perfectly weighted power. Unfortunate? Maybe. But who knows, it's it's good to get pars on this course as you're seeing already. I'm still only at minus three, Wario is starting to tank and that is perfect. I, I do not blame him tanking on this hole though because the clown car is now a golf hole. Seriously, we have to land on top of this. What the hell game? What the hell? Seriously, this is nuts. This par 3 is probably the hardest of the entire game, I think. It's just ridiculous. Nevertheless, we've hit a reasonable shot with that. That might go okay. I think the backspin shouldn't be a bad influence. No, we have hit an excellent shot here. This should be a birdie. Yeah, because that's a pretty flat putt as well. So, excellent. We have managed to get a birdie on the hardest par 3 of the game, in my opinion. Ooh, that felt really freaking good to do as well. God. <laughs> 